Okay, so today I want to begin with the packet that I gave you that goes in with Module 3 regarding technical sketching and shape description, which is basically what we were talking about with multi-view. So we're going to kind of work through each one of these problems from the first set. Because before you go on to the assignment 3 in this module, I really want to make sure we understand what we're drawing when we have our front, top, and side views. So we're going to go through each one of these today, using our straight edge and triangles. Alright, so this first one's really simple. Remember, we're looking at the front view, side view, and top view, right? And what's important about these that I've given you that's different from your last assignment is we have these lines given to us, right? These are guidelines for our projection lines. So we want to go ahead and draw the front view first as, as because we want to always show that view because it tells us the most information. So I'm going to go ahead and they've kind of given you a dotted outline to represent the front, side, and top views. So this one's going to be the easiest. Right? So we get a solid rectangle. Now that rectangle represents this face right here. Right, so that's our front view. All right, now moving on, we want to do the top view. Well, when you do the top view, let's go ahead and do our projection lines. Those are going to be lines that transfer information from the front to the top view. In other words, if you're looking at the front view here, these points, or this edge, is shared by both sides. So in other words, using a lighter pencil, not the same thickness, we're going to do light lines, and I'm using red to illustrate this better, to represent the outside edges of the top view. All right, so that just represents those outside edges. And now once we see this, we have our guidelines, and our guidelines give us the thickness. And this one's the easiest one, so we should be able to run through this one. So let's fill in that view. And finally, we'll do this last one. and they've given us guidelines for the top and the bottom. So you can come back and we can show those guidelines with your lighter pencil, right? And I'm using red here because that would be as if you're using a very light 2H, 3H, or 4H. Alright, and that's your first problem. It's a real simple rectangle. We're just showing front, top, side go on to problem two. Alright, so when we're looking at problem two, same things. They've given us a few hints here, and I'll show you why those matter, but we're going to do our front view first, then we'll do our side view, and then we'll do our top view. And we're going to use a little more of these projection lines this time. So, let's go ahead and draw the base. We know, let's draw this edge. So we're basically going to take this point and that point goes here. This point and this point goes here. And these points are transferred, right? And if you want to look for that point, this line that the problem has given us will be that point. But let's go ahead and close in this edge.
All right. Now we want to go ahead and map where this guideline hits right here. So we're going to go ahead and just draw a projection line for these projection line edges. So let's do our side. I'm going to do the bottom all the way across. I'm going to do the side all the way across. And I'm going to do the top. all the way across. Now we're going to do the same thing for the top view. Alright, we've got our edge. We've got a, get a guide line here or projection line. And we've also got our back edge. So now we've mapped out all of these lines and let's go ahead and do our horizontal view. Now watch what I do here when I do my top view and I project these horizontal lines. I'm going to follow this guideline all the way over to here. Okay, because when you do the top view, if you're looking at the top and the side, they share, the top view shares these points. Right, so you can see these points on this view. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and show this line, but we're going to stop this line right here because that's where both edges of the front, top and side meet. So now I'm going to do the same thing for the side view. So there, now we have a framed in view. Later on you'll see why this line becomes more important. This line will become called the folding plane. Alright, now let's darken in what we're seeing on here that's important that we need to be drawing. So we want to draw our front view. Our front view is this L shape profile. So let's go ahead and trace that L shape profile because we've created it with these lines, these projection lines. Alright, there's the front. Let's do the top. The top is just looking down here, so it's a rectangle with an elevated surface right here. So let's outline that. And I'll show you a trick to make this view pop out. We're going to use a light pencil for the lines further away. I'm going to trace it all on a light pencil. And then we're going to use a heavier pencil or pen to pop out the top of the L shape. And you'll see how we do that in a second. And this is why we have different line weights and pencils. So now I'm going to pop out this shape because it's higher up than that shape. Okay, now we're going to do our side view. Side view, same rules apply. If we're looking at the side, this surface is closer than that surface. So we're going to first trace our whole shape. And then we're going to outline that face that is closer to us. Alright, and that gives us our front, side, 
and top views. Notice how this pops out, just like if you were looking down and those faces popped out. All right, let's move on to the next one. Problem three, all right. Now let's grab problem three, let me get another one. Alright, let's take a look at problem three. 